sound one, real one, fart one. Let's try. This shows the magical first equipment of a dancer. The lovely straight back, the pliable body, and it's what is known as a contraction, and out of it, a stretch into a release. The contractions and release are simply the dramatization in body form of the process of breathing. It's the first and the last thing we do. The contraction is letting the breath out, this is taking the breath in, and the contraction is letting the breath out. While it is not used exactly on the breath, the body is used as an instrument of breath rather than the actual breathing exercise. This is the first use into space. You go into the body rather than away from the body as you bend back. The weight is very strong on the calf of the front leg, I mean on the thigh of the front leg. This should always be in a position so that you could move into elevation from it and still be in force. This is dependent completely upon the balance of the body, but upon the demonic use of the muscles of the thighs. So there is no strain on the knees. There are no exercises for the knees themselves only for the muscles surrounding the knees. This is the contraction prone. The head stays on the floor. The waist goes to the floor. The knees are slightly lifted. And the body is rounded into the contraction that brings it to an upright position sometimes called the pleading, but it really is a technical exercise. There's a slight difference in these two girls in the timing. One comes up much quicker than the other. The slow lift taken by the girl in da the dark, the tug, is the right timing. because it uses the lower part of the back without any jerk. The lower ones, this is what is generally called the exercise on six. There are five, two and four are the same, that's one. This is two, this is three, four is the same as two, the release, contract and release with the roll, then the contraction, release, contraction, deep contraction, release, crest. As you can see, the body is capable of almost endless variation in combinations once it is trained. Once it has subscribed to the litany of the dancer. This is called the new vibration. In reality, it is a rond de jambe. It is taken 
on the floor as well as with one leg in the air. This is the rang de jambe, the leg, the closed position, the open position, the closed, the open, and the attitude. And you hold as far as you can. This is taken at speed. It has, it's used in many contexts. It can have many meanings. It can have the meaning of joy. It can have the meaning of anger. It have, can have the meaning of frustration. Of to be or not to be. Shall I walk? Shall I not walk? In all the technical things we do, we try to use the floor as a very definite and vibrant part of the air. The contraction is taken with the feet flexed, as well as with the feet open. A quick shift comes from the back. This is a combination using the contraction, contract release, stride. And the contract release and position, stride. And finish. It was first done in a dance called American Document, and it's called the American Document Step. This is the preparation for the sit and the turn of the feet. Watch the way the feet turn. The sit comes in, land in parallel position, and you open in the balletic first. As much experimentation as possible as taken for, with contraction and release to show that man is capable of many aspects of feeling in his body. This again is the sit, preparatory to the sit and to a fifth. Watch the turn, please. The weight turns you, the leg drags and comes to an open fifth. This is also taken deep into the floor, and the rise, and the attitude, and go. The ride stride in second, the contraction into the sit, the rise into attitude, and stride. The third section of the exercises are taken across the floor, starting with a very simple walk. The foot brushes against the ankle bone, and the whole weight is taken as you step. This is a variation using the arms. Still keeping the feet in the same open way. This is the second variation, using the body with more of a swing from side to side. This is a third variation, next variation. With the use of the foot to the back, on a sharp lift. And the next variation, which is straight, pulsing forward as far as you can go. You can see it in the last man, Tim Wengert, very much how he shifts his weight by allowing himself to fall. This is a variation again on the walking. It's always interesting to see something taken from the back. This is a variation again, using the contraction to the floor that you saw in the earlier exercises in place. Again, the muscles do not involve the knee. 
you are held in the upper body and in the thigh muscles. This is the use of the walk, preparatory to the run and to the leap. So again, the shift of the weight in space so that it goes into a run. This movement you saw on the standing floor, it's the contraction and the release to second. Contraction parallel to second. Parallel and fourth to second opens. Parallel and fourth to second open. Then it's taken with a turn. So that the body turns in a spiral. But it's the inner turn that finally registers in the outer sense. All of these exercises have their beginnings at the very start of the movement. There's not just something you learn, there's something you develop gradually as you go along. You still see the same contraction you used to see it sitting on the floor, but traveling into space. You have already seen the exercise to the floor and the sit to the floor. This is it in traveling form. The movement is inverted. The knees are parallel. The body is on a contraction as you come up. taken also into the air. The wide second and into the sit. Now begin the wide falls across the floor. These are not dangerous. In any way, you do not land on your knees and you do not strain the back. The weight is held still through the center of the body. You come to fourth, you come to fourth, you rise to first. It's called the wide fall in second. is a variation on it. You saw this step earlier, this movement to, in a sit to the floor, but you saw it without the traveling into space. This is a combination of the sit and a fall in the contraction and the lift into fourth and the rise. This is the back fall. It's held up in the body, in the thighs, so that there is no strain on the knees.
It's also taken very fast. The weight is held high, there's no danger. You do not fall away from yourself, you fall into yourself. This is a preparation for the simplest fall. You go into a contraction. You circle around yourself. You bring your shoulder to your knee. It slips off the knee. It takes a deep contraction, and the hand rests on the ankle. You take a high release, a contraction back to a sit, a coming to fourth with the knee, and a lift with the legs turned in. This is what we call the fall on two, two, three. And two, and one, and two. You go through all the movements, except your timing is different. This is on one, and one. It's like an exclamation point.